Trying to predict the future of a language is a notoriously unreliable business. Writing in 1877, the linguist Henry Sweet, probably better known today as Bernard Shaw's Henry Higgins, predicted that in a hundred years, the English spoken in Australia, America and Britain would be mutually unintelligible varieties. Now, of course, that hasn't come true. But one way of predicting the future might be to look back at the past. The way that English is used today as a lingua franca, that's a variety spoken by speakers of other languages to communicate with each other, has some parallels in the way that Latin was used in pre-modern Europe. So after the fall of the Roman Empire, Latin continued to be used in its classical form as a written standard language long after the Roman Empire had fallen. But the spoken Latin continued to change giving new dialects and ultimately the rise of new languages, what today we call Italian, French and Spanish. And the way that English is being spread across the globe today is giving rise to new interlanguages, forms of English mixed with the languages spoken by uh, those using it as a second language. So for instance, in Singapore, the government continues to try to promote standard British English using its Good English campaign. But in fact, it's the mixed form of English, what's called Singlish, a form of English with features of Malay and Chinese that is still spoken in the homes and on the streets of Singapore. And in America, the, the variety known as Spanglish, a mix mixture of Spanish and English, is now spoken by millions of people, many of whom use it as a native language. We might think of it, therefore, as a language in its own right. So as English continues to spread across the globe in this way, it seems likely that the future of English is actually a future of multiple Englishes.